Ken Whiting with Paddle TV and I'm giving away some more awards to products that deserve special recognition for their awesomeness. There's lots of products and lots of new products that have come out that really do deserve to get an award, but these are the products that I tested, that I tested and said to myself, wow, this is a great addition to my gear shed. I'm keeping it. And so let's get things started with the first one. This is the Yak Attack Tow and Stow Kayak Cart. There's two types of tow and stows. They have their uh, the bar cart and the bunkster, and it depends on the type of kayak that you're using. But if you don't know about kayak carts, for many people, they are a godsend. They can make the difference between getting on the water and not getting on the water, especially with wreck kayaks, fishing kayaks, the heavier kayaks, or if you're a smaller person, moving around a kayak, getting into the water and getting back from the water to your vehicle can be one of the biggest challenges of kayaking. And that's what kayak carts solve. What makes the Yak and Tack a tow and stow uh, so great is the fact that they completely break down toollessly don't require any tools. They've just engineered this wonderful system of little levers. Pieces all pop apart and pop together and they're solid. Both of them carry up to 450 pounds, which is unheard of for a kayak cart. They take any cart you want, kayak you want. Not only do they take kayak, but if you're a kayak angler and you're loading it with gear, they take it a loaded kayak as well. A variety of configurations. They could handle salt water because it's just plastic, aluminum, stainless steel. They uh, retail for 190 and 250 bucks, which sounds like a lot. And it is a fair chunk of money, but for any quality kayak cart, you're going to be over 150 bucks for the most part. Really innovative. I haven't seen anything truly innovative when it comes to transporting your kayak to the water in a long time. And Yak Attack, well, honestly, they that's what they thrive on, innovation, and they've proved it once again, definitely worthy of a Paddle TV award. So the next Paddle TV award is going to, well, Night Eyes. These guys right here, and they're runoff waterproof packing cubes, and they've got three sizes. They got the small, they got the medium, and then they got the large. They're really just a new take on dry bags. What really separates them from other dry bags is that what they call their true zip technology. It's the zipper system that you use to seal them up. And it's just a really easy zipper to use. And it does a great job of sealing. I tested it by, well, I've tested it a number of times actually on the water. I just used it on a canoe trip, overnight canoe trip I did. But I actually tried just tried standing on this thing and to see if it, the zipper would hold because it, it is so easy to, to to open and close, is it going to be a good seal? Well, it did. It held up to my 200 pounds standing on it. So that's impressive. I like the fact that it has a clear front so you can see what's inside. It comes in three sizes, but I'm looking forward to seeing a bigger size. This is great for, uh, you know, packing um, things like first aid kits, snacks, some uh, food, uh, just lots of knickknacks, great for camping. The other thing I actually used it for was flying home from Finland this summer from a paddling trip I did there. My nasty, nasty shoes, they stunk. And I sealed the mess in with these things, which was actually really nice. So it didn't just keep, uh, doesn't just keep stuff dry, but they keep your nasty things from getting other stuff nasty. Definitely a worth a Paddle TV award. And actually Night Eyes has got some, lots of, they're like inventors of products. And they got all sorts of cool different products. It's worth checking out the website to see all the different things they have. Now, speaking of nasty booties, <laughs> footwear, that's what I'm giving the next Paddle TV award to. These suckers right here, and actually more so these. Uh, these are Astral's. Loyak water shoes. These are Loyak, the Loyak AC air conditioned water shoes it's because they're much lighter and for hotter, warmer conditions. I started using these this year and I absolutely love them. I mean, Astral is really well known for making great water shoes. They've been doing it for a long time and the Loyak has been, um, has been one of the most popular water shoes around. The Loyak AC, you can tell these are pretty well used because this has been my go-to all season long. In fact, I even use these in Finland in cold conditions. Not ideal because they don't provide any type of insulation, but I don't get cold feet that easily, so it didn't matter to me. What I love is the, how super grippy the soles are. Uh, the rubber is just awesome, and they're just super flexible, so they fit in any type of boat. I use it for 
a whitewater kayaking, sea kayaking, canoeing, stand up paddling, you know, anything. You really can use them for anything. Because it's a shoe, uh, even though it, this material is is basically porous, it just water just drains out in a second from it, it stops uh, rocks and sand from getting inside. Of course, sand and, and rocks can, or sand can still get in around your ankle, but all in all, great water shoe they go for around 100 bucks and definitely worth considering and definitely worth a paddle tv award so next paddle tv award goes to gear lab outdoors and their deck pod 2. this is a bag that goes on the deck front deck of a touring kayak since i started using the deck pod i've been using it pretty much any time i'm paddling a touring kayak it's so convenient having the bag right there and what i find much more convenient than have even the, the day hatches that they that some kayaks have what i I love about the, the deck pod 2 in particular is the attachment system. They've just made it so easy to attach the deck pod to the perimeter lines of a kayak. It's got these side compartments here for uh, bilge pumps, for paddle floats, things like that probably put a water bottle in there and then it's got a main compartment inside it has a hole it's so, it's, so it, you could put a water bladder in here and has a hole to uh, for the the hose to come out um, it's got secondary pockets here this is the kind of thing I put on the deck and I keep sunscreen snacks water camera GoPros and camera gear um, just anything I want easy access to throughout the day it comes in these well these three colors right now I'm not sure if they plan on coming out with more depending on the color of your boat I love the simplicity of it uh, how easy it is to put on take off how it provides great simple access to my gear without impeding my paddling stroke and so I started using it last year and I really liked it. The new generation, the Deck Pod 2, is even a step up. And so well worthy of a Paddle TV Award. All right, so here is another Paddle TV Award winner. This is the Zen Vivi sleeping system. And what's so cool about this system is that uh, it starts with this, basically this sheet that goes over top your sleeping mattress. Now they have their own sleeping mattress that you can get as part of a full system, but I, this is the Thermo, uh, Thermarest Neo Air that I, you know, it's my go-to um, sleeping pad, it's so thick right now, but it fits over that just fine. Now, that one nice thing is it's a nice soft sheet so you're not on the, the slippery, crinkly, um, actual sleeping pad itself. But the other thing is that the mummy, if it's cold, is built into the sleeping sheet itself down uh, what's underneath you. And then, like a quilt, the sleeping bag just zips on top however you want. I just had it zipped up on this one side, right by my arm, my right arm, and then the rest was completely unzipped. And so I, last night, I was just sleeping, well, at the beginning of the night, completely open. Um, because it was pretty warm, but then it got cool at night and just like a quilt at home, I just pulled it over top of myself. And I think I slept most of the night with kind of my legs partly hanging out. Bottom line is you can sleep however you want in it. You're not encased in a sleeping bag like most camp systems are. It's a really cool system. It did take like an extra 30 seconds when I was putting it together to kind of figure out, but awesome, definitely worthy of a Paddle TV award. Now last but not least, this Paddle TV award goes to NRS and their Axiom Gore-Tex Pro Dry Suit. I mean, this is the Mac Daddy of dry suits. I did a testing and full review of this dry suit and I really, I loved it. Very much deserving of a Paddle TV award. NRS has been making dry suits for a long time and they've really figured out the fitting, the sizing, so many of the subtleties around a dry suit. They make great dry suits in general. This one is their Mac Daddy one. It uses Gore-Tex Pro, which means it's the ultimate in durability, breathability, waterproofness, all of that. You pay a premium for it, for that, uh, for Gore-Tex in particular. If you have the money, it's worth it. it, it, it the fact is dry tops cost a lot of money or not dry top but like dry tops do as well but dry suits cost a lot of money and so do you spend a bit more and get the premium well that's up to you what kind of things this thing has it has these neoprene over cuffs to cover the wrist and and neck gasket so the gaskets aren't just being hammered by uv it comes with a relief zipper for depending if you get the guys or girls model it just has drainage uh in all the right places it has 
comes with the integrated feet. If you take care of it, this is a lifetime piece of gear. And that's what makes buying a dry suit justifiable if you are into kayaking and want to kayak in the colder conditions. In some cases, it's not just a luxury, it's essential. You know, it's essential piece of safety gear if you're in cold water. Even though they cost a fair penny, uh, the joy is if you take care of them, they really will last a lifetime. Now those are my primary awards, but you know what? There's a couple other pieces of gear that I've been using this year that I want to give honorable mentions because, you know, they've just become uh, pieces of gear that I use all the time. First one is this here, the dry robe mat. I'm not even sure what they call it, but it's got this super soft, cozy on one side and then this kind of this canvas waterproof other side. This is for changing. And when I'm, whatever type of paddling I'm doing, I throw this on the ground and get changed. It's not just paddling. I use it for mountain biking, for, for any activity where I want to change beside my vehicle. This has a permanent place in my vehicle. I never knew I would love it so much, but thank you, dry robe. That's a great piece of gear and my feet really appreciate it too. The other one is this package right here. This is the Airbank uh, pump, inflatable pump. It's battery driven, don't need to plug it in to your vehicle. It has been absolutely awesome. And it pumps up to, I believe 20 PSI. So this takes care of drop stitch kayaks um, stand up paddle boards, whatever. It can handle, pump up anything that you need to pump up. I pump this thing up with, uh, without charging it, three kayaks so far, and I haven't charged it yet. And so that's a pretty good indication of, hey, that does it, you know, it can pump up some boats. It's not like, hey, it hardly does one boat. So far it's done three, and I think I'll probably get another one, uh, one or two out of it. That's pretty cool. I've been a big promoter of uh, electric pumps for inflatables. If you're gonna, if you have an inflatable and you're gonna use it a lot, then, and it's a bigger boat too, especially if it's drop stitch. It takes some work to pump them up. I mean, if you're doing it every so often, it's not necessary, but if you're gonna do it repeatedly, then having a pump, uh, an electric pump to pump it up is a really nice thing. The other thing you can do is with an electric pump too, which you can do with actually a hand pump, is you can reverse it so when you're taking air out of the boat, you want to get that last bit of air out of the boat or board or whatever it is, you can pump it out of the board and makes makes a lot easier to, to pack up. Honorable mention to these guys as well. That's a piece of gear that has a permanent place in my truck as well. I'm losing space in my truck. Huh. So there you go. Those are my Paddle TV award winners. The best paddling of gear of the year that I actually tried. <laughs> I know there's more great paddling gear, lots more great paddling gear out there. And so that's what I'd love to know from you is please leave a comment down below if there's a piece of gear that you think I really need to try because it's it's award worthy. Also, if you have any questions about any of this gear, uh, feel free to leave that in the description box down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Otherwise, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay tuned because I got lots more paddling tips, gear reviews and paddling adventures coming your way. Hopefully a lot more paddling adventures. In fact, I know a lot more paddling adventures. Where's my next one gonna take me?